from Phoenix Shaving, the new 24mm glow-in-the-dark Cyclotrode X shaving brush. We're going to build a lather with it and we're going to have a shave coming up next. Hi YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere, it's ParkerGeorgeTune.com, I'm back with another video. Great to see you again, thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. Really excited to show you this one this time around. Brand new shaving brush from Phoenix Shaving. It glows in the dark. Before we get to that, hey, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is, folks, right here. This is the Cyclotrode X shaving brush. This is based on the vintage N500 from around, I believe, the 1940s, which was, from what I've seen on the product page from Phoenix Shaving, the N500 was the first synthetic shaving brush, although it's not as soft as this beautiful knot right here. This is a 24 millimeter perihelion knot, hybrid synthetic uh, brush knot, right there. It says so right there on the package right there and on the product page. And again, the packaging is absolutely top notch. I love the artwork and the way every, all the packaging is designed by Phoenix Shaving. Absolutely beautiful. But this handle here is just a beautiful throwback to the 1940s. Uh, the body right here glows in the dark, and of course it has a, a clear base to it. Now, there is some branding on the bottom there, Cyclotrode X, and that also <laughs> is very visible when this glows in the dark. And we're going to show you how it glows in the dark. Viewer Jamie Horn uh, made a suggestion for this video, and I'm going to go with it. And I did a test, and I think it works rather well. So hopefully it will work well for this review. So thanks very much to Jamie. Now, uh, we're going to go ahead and have a shave with this brush. We're going to build a lather with it and, and uh, paint it on, that sort of thing. I'm going to be using my... Uh, Phoenix Shaving Ascension Select Razor. We're going to be using a, uh, look at this, I don't think I've ever used these blades before. A Gillette Super Thin Platinum Razor Blade, right there. I don't think I've ever used these before. It, uh, I was, I found this among some other blade samplers, so we're going to use one of those. We're going to use a Blue Softwind Shave Soap. Boy, absolutely fantastic. Halloween, autumn scent. Really, really terrific. We're going to kick it off with the uh, Tube 2.0. I'm also going to be using my Phoenix Shaving Travel Scuttle. I have some hot water in it. I did microwave it for about 45 seconds. So I took hot water out of the tap. I microwaved it for 45 seconds. So it'll be nice and warm. Uh, we won't have to reheat or anything like that. It'll probably come to the proper temperature when we start to build that lather. Uh, obviously, we're going to finish it off with the Blue Solomon Aftershave Splash and uh, also the uh, Star Jelly and uh, GBS Travel so that's kind of got a lay of the land. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, set this aside here. Uh, I was going to use that for uh, some notes, but I happen to remember everything because the product page is very well written. So I encourage you to get up there and get a good look at it. It really is fascinating stuff. And again, Douglas does a great job in getting the history of the brush that this one is paying an homage to, that sort of thing. Let's wet the face. Let's get to the shade. I have uh, two days worth of beard growth, and uh, we are doing uh, an evening shave here, to be honest with you, because I wanted the conditions to be dark. So I've got lights off in the house and that sort of thing so that I can get the uh, maximum effect from the glow. Just so you know, and that's... Uh, and that's the goal. Try to get this to glow in the dark on camera so you can see it, so it registers nicely. All right, let's rinse. Okay, boy, that's that's a <laughs> that's a nice kick. Okay, so here is the uh, travel skull here with some hot water in the bowl, and also hot water in the inner chamber. Here is my. 
blue soft wind. Now here is my brush. I haven't really soaked it, but I'm just gonna just gonna swish it around the water a little bit. That should be enough, like that. And I'm just gonna give give it a little bit of a shake there. Okay, so there it is. And you know, this is really a substantial handle. First of all, it feels very, very nice in the hand, but there is some nice weight to it. Excuse me, one minute. A little bit of the menthol from the tube 2.0 there. Uh, it has some really, really nice heft to it. Fits nicely in the hand. It just feels to be a great size. I love the design and I love the, I guess you could say, fluting or ridges that run around the body and the base of the brush handle. Fits very, very nicely in the hand. And as I say, I was very, very surprised. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I was very, very surprised at the heft of this. Really, really terrific. All right, so I got a little bit of water in the bottom of the shaving stove. We're going to go ahead and use that. Oh, you can, <laughs> you can hear that handle running around in there, huh? That's okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... Uh, There we go. Okay, I'm just pressing down a little more. That's what I'm doing, going a little bit deeper into the... Yeah, there we go. That's got it. Okay, now I got the perfect... There it is. Now it's not touching the sides at all. I don't know what I did wrong there, but now it seems to have found the correct... Yeah. Look at how much I've got already. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Look at it. Okay, now it's not it's not banging the sides at all now. I don't know what I did. But I, you know what? I don't think I went deep enough into the into the bowl. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look at the, yeah, hear hear that? No, it's not doing it anymore. Yeah, look at that. I don't know what I did wrong the first time around. Just be aware of that. That's all I'm saying. It's, I thought, ooh, that's not good. But you know what? It's turning out to be really good for this shave bowl. I just had to adjust my technique a little bit. And look how much lather I have already. My gosh. Look at that. Look at... Oh, my gosh. Boom! Lather! Look at that! All right. So what I'm going to do now, all right, here's what I'm going to do. Let me show you. I'm going to set this lathering bowl down. It's nice and warm. All right, I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to wipe off that handle as best I can. Wipe that off and wipe it off. Wipe it off nicely. There we go. Okay. All right. Just wipe it off. I'm going to wipe it. I want to wipe it off completely. Okay, see what I'm doing here? Wiping it off in between the channels. Yeah, just like that. Okay. All right. All right. See that? Now I'm going to set it down between two flashlight sources that I have here. I've got a couple of these guys here. Okay, right there, that panel's lighting up. Okay, and then over here. That panel is lighting up, okay, and we're going to set the brush in between those two light sources, and we're going to let it charge up, okay, and while that's charging up, I'm going to go ahead and do my uh, pre-shave. I'm going to load the blade first, is what I'm going to do, and by the time I'm done loading the blade, and uh, by the time I'm done loading the blade, and doing my pre-shave lather, uh, that should be nicely charged for a glow-in-the-dark effect. So there's the Gillette, here's the Gillette Super Thin Platinum, all right, right there. And we're going to set that in there like that, all right. And again, I've got two days' worth of beard growth, if I forgot to mention that. I think I did mention that, but i got two days' worth of beard growth. Here's my buffer ring right there. I'm going to go in there like that, and we are just going to, yeah, oh, that's nice. Okay. Balance and alignment is spot on. Boy, this is a really terrific razor. If you're looking for a, a really nice, fun, adjustable razor, this, 
this Ascension double open comb twist adjustable razor is just absolutely fantastic. So Ascension Select. We're going to go with a, almost a quarter of a turn right there. Let me set that down now. And uh, let me uh, wet the face and we're going to do our uh, pre-shave lather. All right, so we're going to get the tube 2.0. Again, and we're gonna just set that aside there like that. Yeah, set that aside like that. Now we're gonna work this into a nice lather. Okay. All right, there we go. All right. So I'm not sure how much time that is. I'll have to look. Uh, have to look at the. Uh, the, uh, the time stamps uh, when I do my editing of this video. So we're going to take these guys and shut them off like that. And uh, here's the brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of water on it. Here's my scuttle. I'm going to get a little bit of this lather here. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Check out that bottom there, right there, huh? How about that, huh? <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's see if we can, you know, I'll, I'll be doggone. I'm able to see a little bit of my face from the light of this. And I'm able to find, just from the light of this nut, you can see now I'm kind of going into the bowl there. Can you see I'm going into the bowl? I don't know if you can see that. I can see that. Look at that. How about that, huh? You can see the lather <laughs> around the handle there. I think it's. I think this is working. I can see how much lather I have in the bowl from the uh, from the glow of the handle. And after I'm done laying this lather on. We'll turn the lights on and we'll see how good of a job I did in the dark with just this handle. You can see some of the lather <laughs> around the body of it, kind of blocking the light a little bit. All right, I think it's got it. I think it's got it. Let me just, maybe just a little more here, a little more here. Okay, starting to fade a little bit, huh? Yeah, right there. Okay, how about right there? Let me hold it there like that. Yeah, that way you can see it a little better. Okay. Let me set that down. I'm holding this up in the air so you can see it. Oop, I think I just lost my skull. <laughs> That's okay. We're okay. We're, we're okay. We're okay. All right. Here, let's put the uh, lights on. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Okay, I did lose my scuttle in the sink, <laughs> but that's okay. I think I have enough on the brush for a, a second and a third pass, to be perfectly honest with you. These uh, synthetic brushes are fantastic, so I'm just going to set that there like that. There's how much I have there. So I, uh, I'm going to set that there, but look, <laughs> it did a great job, even in the dark. Now, I don't, uh, I don't advise you do that as a regular pra practice, but it was a lot of fun to do it that way. All right, so, uh, so it did throw off a uh, pretty good light. It glows in the dark. Yeah, kind of a novel thing. So we're going to heat this razor up under some hot, 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 hot water, and we're going to get to this shave. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that's nice. That's a nice, boy, that's a nice smooth blade. Boy, that's marvelous. It has a mild yet a rather sharp quality, but look at the lather that the, that was created with uh, CK6 and the uh, Cyclotrode X shaving brush. Absolutely marvelous.
Okay. Well, I tell you what. Really, I was really looking forward to this shave. I <laughs> two days worth of beard growth was really bugging me. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's quite the blade in the Ascension Select. I am right there in socially acceptable territory, right there at the start of it. That's marvelous. Now, because I lost my lather in the bowl here, because I set it here on the edge of the sink and it toppled into the uh, into the sink, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, paint on what I have left on the brush. And I guess this will give you a good idea of the performance of the brush as well as how much lather is still retained in this knot. Look at that. Now, if I want to, I could do a little bit of face lathering here as well. Look how that splays out very, very nicely. Very, very soft. It has uh, what, I, what I would call probably good moderate to medium backbone. It allows you to really splay out nicely and uh, just gives you a great, great lather. Look at that. Reminds me of my uh, shaving days when I was face lathering. And again, these synthetic brushes are great if you do face lathering. Uh, it just holds so much lather in the knot to where you don't have to uh, go back into a, 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 a tub or a uh, puck of soap to get more lather. It just retains it. And this particular uh, perihelion uh, synthetic, hybrid synthetic shave knot does a wonderful job. This is the same shave knot that was introduced with the Doppler razor, uh, Doppler shaving brush rather, Doppler shaving brush with the uh, butterscotch handle. Thanks, Mom. And uh, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. I'm going to snug this back up and I'm going to go about uh, maybe an eighth of a turn, maybe a little more than a sixteenth, somewhere in there. Uh, we're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west. slickness and uh, beautiful glide. Uh, I think also the razor head on this uh, Ascension Select, the plating on this razor head really adds to that glide. It really does. comfortable shave. My gosh, the lather that the Cyclotrode X produced is marvelous, really marvelous. Of course, it's CK6. This, is, <laughs> this has been a marvelous shave. Uh, I got to admit, uh, this uh, Gillette uh, Super Thin Platinum Razor Blade has just been uh, absolutely delightful. My goodness. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Uh, the shave is done. <laughs> I don't need a second pass. No kidding. Two days worth of beard growth knocked down with the Ascension Select with this Gillette Super Thin Platinum Razor Blade. My gosh. Yeah, no, I don't need a third pass. I don't. We're gonna go, we're gonna go right to the uh, two final rinses, one warm, one cold. Here's my uh, warm water rinse.
Boy, that's terrific. What a great shave. That's marvelous. Of course, I had two days' worth of beard growth. So there is that contrasting factor, you know. You feel real scruffy and scraggly, and after two passes, you feel really, <laughs> really, really clean shaven. Probably could do it. Maybe, uh, you know, and, and it's a flip of the coin. Uh, a touch-up or a third pass, but you know what? I could do it with great comfort with this lather and uh, with this razor. But I uh, want to move the video along, so we're going to go ahead and finish up with my cold water rinse. Oh, that's marvelous. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. Fantastic. What a marvelous, marvelous shave. Oh, absolutely wonderful. That is really, really, oh boy, I tell you. Smooth, close, comfortable. And uh, I think the big factors here are CK6, absolutely, CK6. And this wonderful uh, shaving brush from Phoenix Shaving. Great heft. Really nice heft. Feels great in the hand. And while why it was banging around on the inside of the travel scuttle, I think that's operator error. That's me. I was not, uh, I was not swirling it around in there uh, correctly. I adjusted, as you saw, and everything was okay. And again, you know, I apologize. Didn't want to alarm anyone, but... Yeah, it, it did fine. Uh, and man, did it generate a lot of lather. So sorry, my apologies for the false start there. Here's my uh, GBS Allen block. We're going to run this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. Boy, that's smooth as ice. There's no stinging. There's no zing. Okay, a little bit of a zing there. I'll admit that. One little zing tells me I could have done a third pass, no problem at all. But two passes really got the job done. And we had a recent discussion on the morning Monday morning mailbag, you know, how many passes you do. And it really just is going to vary from, I guess, it's going to vary from razor to razor, blade to blade, uh, that sort of thing. And I'm usually two to three passes, usually with about two days worth of beard growth. Uh, I like to do a third pass, and I could have done a third pass with this shave, and uh, uh, I want to move the video along, but uh, I got a great result. This is this is BBS. <laughs> I really don't need to do a third pass. I think this Gillette, this Gillette Super Thin Platinum Razor Blade, my gosh, these are great. I got to find some more of these. If you know where I can get some more, please comment below and let me know in the comments. These are great. I think I have one more. I gotta look around my shave then and see if I have any more than that. Those are really nice. Uh, here is the, the lather right here. You can see how much. See, I had enough for a third pass, maybe even a touch up. Look at that. Look, even though I, look at that. Hey, wow. Even though I lost that scutter, that scutter. Even though I lost, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Even though I lost the scuttle, in the in the sink because uh, it was dark. You know, I I put it on the edge of the uh, the sink here and it uh, it fell in because it was dark. <laughs> what do you what do you expect, Mark? It was dark, but uh, that shaving brush still produced a great lather just from the knot itself. So you can paint it on, you can face lather with it. It's great. A nice happy accident to show you that. Uh, building a lather with it in a shaving bowl or a scuttle, it does a great job. Or face lathering, it does an absolutely uh, great job as well. So a very, very versatile uh, shaving brush. And again, a great shape and design. The handle feels wonderful in the hand. And uh, again, when you get into a little tighter shaving bowl, you can adjust so it doesn't clang around on the sides. And I'm sure that's happened with uh, some of you with some other shaving brushes. And you adjust a little bit and you're okay. So that's what happened there. Okay, so let's finish it up with some Blue Soft Wind Aftershave. Absolutely love this scent. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic scent. Oh yeah, oh boy, this is great. Okay, we're gonna use the uh, Jimmy V method. Okay, we're gonna let the alcohol evaporate a little bit. Okay, and now slap on. 
And believe me, that works. Try that. Let that alcohol evaporate off of your hands. Just give it a few seconds and then slap it on and you'll get pure scent. It's absolutely fantastic method. Thanks again to Jimmy V. And here is some star jelly aftershave balm for upstairs. Okay, right there. Oh boy, that's terrific. Great, great shave. What an absolutely wonderful shaving brush. Another home run from Phoenix Shaving. I gotta tell you, I love the shape of this shaving brush. I love the body, I love the handle. It, again, it fits in the hand so wonderfully and naturally. And the additional heft that this shaving brush has compared to some of the others from the Phoenix Shaving line is really, really a welcome change. It just feels great in the hand. And again, I love the glow-in-the-dark uh, body and the clear base uh, and the ribbing or fluting, however you want to call it, that goes all the way around the body is absolutely wonderful. Yeah, if you get into a little tighter shaving scuttle or shaving bowl, you can adjust so it doesn't clang around like that. And, uh, yeah, it was, it worked. It, it was, you know, off to a kind of a rough start there. I gotta be honest with you, but I adjusted. And, uh, once I understood the relationship between the brush handle and uh, the opening of the scuttle, uh, all was good. So uh, that was great. Of course, my first time out with it, so now I know what to do uh, down the road with other shaving bowls and other, sh other shaving scuttles that are of a similar uh, size on the interior. So absolutely fantastic shaving brush, an absolutely wonderful, wonderful shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation, smooth, close, and comfortable. My gosh, what a wonderful, wonderful shave. And once more, the Ascension Select, boy, this is a terrific, terrific razor. Absolutely a favorite in the shave den. All the Ascension Selects, all the Ascension razors are uh, wonderful. The copper, the stainless steel, the aluminum, and the Ascension Select. They're all really, really great, and they all perform equally well. It's just a matter of uh, what material you want and uh, the price point you want to spend. Uh, wow, absolutely great razor line from Phoenix Shaving, and they also offer some wonderful, wonderful shaving brushes. Uh, Cyclotrode X is the newest one. Get this one. This is absolutely wonderful. We'll have a link below. Again, uh, it is a nice novelty, glow in the dark, but you know what? Without that, it still looks great. It performs well. Nice half, beautiful soft knot, great for bowl lathering or face lathering. The Cyclotrode X, my thanks to Doug, Fran, Huxley, and everyone at Phoenix Shaving for very kindly sending this along to the channel and allowing me to share it with all the viewers out there. Thank you again very, very much. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Serrati where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.